And now I'm going to do another company piece here. What's the word? Acapella? This, um, <coughs> well, <coughs> back when I was in college in the 60s, I uh, <coughs> excuse me, had this, um, you know, back when, you know, it was when you could get stomped and so forth for having beards and long hair and shit like that, so I could always end up in a bar sitting next to some guy who is what I call the World War II trunk. No friends, nothing, just totally blotto at the end of the bar, <clears throat> and uh, nothing to live for, and always complaining about other goddamn kids. And <clears throat> um, it, it occurred to me a long time ago that they really should have done something like Japanese snow theater with this guy, that they should have World War II drunks train them to play the part forever and ever, so that 500 years from now you can go into a bar and find a World War II drunk sitting at the end of it. <clears throat> that was before I discovered the other side of the generation gap, which I think happened about 10 years ago when I went to uh, a punk band and somebody asked if I was a sociologist. <clears throat> that, before that I didn't know there was one, but now I know there's a generation gap. So this is called <clears throat> A Tale of Two Decades. 1966. And there, did the battle of the bow, the standards the World War II drunk raises, along with his glass. He sings sloppy praises of days gone by like old Sinatra tunes. He grumbles in his beer at the end of the bar, an archetype of theater. The Atlantic theater, the Pacific theater, the theater of the absurd, of basic training, of four years sweating his survival in, it was Zimmer, Bataan, Nagasaki, Japan, George's. His rumbas, rambling and drunken, recollect rumbles from his past. The glory days of battle with the enemy. Soldiers fighting sailors for hookers, MPs for freedom. How timeless his struggles seem, as lasting as memory or fiction, fixed in glory, an archetype. A memory, I say, that must be preserved in the flesh as the flesh is presently pickled. <laughs> Platonic form must give eternal fixity to those who served. The bartenders change, the customers' stories of glories largely unlived, with nothing better coming later. Old men Recreated in new men's flesh, old memories told in memory of the old drunk style and lack of substance. 1986. <coughs> Happenings, bands, kitchens, our stock. The rock freak, veteran of the 60s sings, grave at the end of the bar. A new veteran of old times, 
Time's too old for the young to remember or care about. The new standards he sings sound tame as the wildest times of his life. Wind-filled stories of wars fought without guns. The glories of Kennedy, King, Hoffman, and Rubin. Pipes of peace and mostly reefer. Remember, like the better world he took, more likely poked away, the kids say, for granted. They take me. They take me for granted, these kids. Six stools down. They'll fix me forever. A clown on a ditch and beach they take everything, blood, sweat, and tears, the Grateful Dead, the establishment, this establishment, coming later, even their B-52s for granted, but not the flesh of new mirrors. Reflecting their sameness, the tameness of their best times, their last.